everybody, this is Brian with Wonder Arts and Adventures. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I know I'm back and forth sometimes between uh, beach scenery and tropical, but today I want to do something a little more rustic, a little more country and stuff like that. So uh, today I'm going to be doing like some bathroom art. I'm going to do an old school outhouse from way back in the day with the half moon on the door and everything like that. So I'm getting ready to begin. I'll be using light blue, orange, white, burnt umber, brilliant sienna, red, yellow. I'll also be using a deep green and a light green. And I'm gonna try to do this like a little fall scene. I'm just gonna go as I go, but uh, try to figure it out along the way. So. I hope y'all enjoy it and uh, let's get to painting. In case y'all wondering what I'm doing, I always kind of pre-coat the sides on the stretched canvas. That way, if you decide not to use a frame, it just looks better hanging on a wall. I know frames can be expensive, and I don't buy them a lot. I usually let whoever buys my paintings pick their own frames. So I always just give it an edge. So if you want to do that, it would make it look a lot better.
little bit of highlights on the top of these trees. Not all of these are going to be evergreens or anything. You're going to have some hardwoods in it. Kind of let your paint dry a little bit, not too much. If you want to, you come in at the bottom and go ahead and get you an ending point or a horizon. Use a little bit of, say, uh, black in the uh, in the deep green. field in the foreground and you want to make it kind of look like it's fading off into the forest so always just kind of try to give it some depth. When I first started painting I just wanted to look like it had no depth at all and I'm still trying to get there with that. My grandmother was awesome at doing paintings. She couldn't draw a stick figure she said but she can just look at a canvas and I mean next thing you know she had awesome awesome stuff. Another thing you might want to get if you don't have one is a little palette knife. These always come in handy, and especially if you're going to do like tree trunks on a forest line. Mix a little bit of white, a little bit of dark brown. Get enough on it, the edge, not too thick, if you run any some tree trunks in there. And then we'll come back and highlight some more.
just use just a touch of white. Come across the top and pull down just to create some light. Maybe I'll take and highlight this edge of the roof. I'm going to take the dark brown and some white. Try to mix a faded wood look. I wouldn't worry too much about the detail on your little barn unless you want to do it different. It's totally up to y'all how y'all do this. But I'm going to have probably a big tree cutting half of this barn off. But I want to make, make sure it looks like it's there, you know, off in the distance.
so far this is looking like where I kind of lived at in Georgia. My grandmother had a big farm up in Lafette, Georgia, about 65 acres, big barn. My grandfather raised Angus cattle and stuff. And, uh, you know, I used to go up there as a kid all the time. I loved it, man. I, she had a creek running through, trout, we'd swim, fish, just, you know, you don't get to do that down here in Florida. I mean, it's just, I mean, yeah, we got swimming, fishing, stuff like that, but I just, I miss the freedom, the, uh, you know, just being able to camp, being able to do campfire, just do all kinds of stuff, you know, ride a four-wheeler somewhere. It's the only thing a lot of people talk about, oh, I want to live in Florida, but you lose a lot of your freedoms if you grew up in the country, if you live here. I mean, but speaking of country, I want to give a big old shout out to my friends in Dahlonega, Georgia at Gray Mountain Farm. Uh, if you would, go check them out on YouTube as well. They're really good people. And, uh, you know, they kind of helped me taught me through this getting started this whole YouTube thing so I'm new at it and hopefully I'll get better so uh, anyway go check them out make sure you like subscribe tell them hello tell them Brian sent you and um, you know very good people up there we're gonna be going up that way to where we used to live probably you know this month sometime see them and uh, anyway, you know, me and my wife in 2010 had gotten married in this little town called Helen, Georgia. And it's northeast Georgia, but it's a beautiful little town. It started out as a logging town. And slowly over the years, they converted it into like an Alpine Swiss village. I mean, all authentic looking. I mean, lots of shops, um, you know, creeks, you can float to, do whatever you want to. And I mean, it's really fun. I mean, there's a lot of old mines. Uh, Dahlonega, where Great Mountain's from, used to be one of the first gold rushes and uh, a lot of gold there at one time. I think pretty much now a lot of it's gone, but uh, that's something you can do if you, I don't know where all of y'all guys are from, but you know, if you're ever up in Northeast Georgia, go check those places out. Beautiful country. If you just want to get away from the cities and, and uh, the traffic and all the stuff that's going on in the world, just, Check some of those places out. It's beautiful.
Well, what y'all think so far? I hope you like it. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but anyway, uh, appreciate y'all watching me today. Um, we'll try again next time, try to do something else. I might do wood burning, might get back to doing beach art. It's just, it's up to y'all what y'all want to see. So if you would, drop me a comment, like, share, tell your friends, and thank you again for watching.